Hi there. My name is Brennan Caverhill. I'm an elementary school teacher and college professor in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. As a French specialty teacher at St. Cecilia Elementary, I teach science and social studies en français. After school, I also teach photography in the environmental visual communication program at the Royal Ontario Museum. Working with both elementary school children and college students puts my background in science, education, and storytelling to good use. Before becoming a teacher, I earned a master's degree in conservation biology from Acadia University, then worked for a decade as a biologist and educator with Parks Canada, the Toronto Zoo, and the Royal Ontario Museum, conducting scientific research on endangered species and engaging communities in biodiversity and nature conservation. My philosophy at school is teacher as guide, engaging students with interesting and useful hands-on activities that are relevant to their lives, and inspiring kids to learn more by providing options for mastery, autonomy, and purpose in their work. For my Nat Geo capstone project, I decided to use Nat Geo's Map Maker tool. To give the activity relevance to the students' lives, I asked the class to map their own ancestral origins. Next, I asked the students to make their family trees using an online tool. We used Ancestry.ca. Students were required to enter as many relatives as possible and as much information as possible. Ensuite, they created a Google Slides presentation to deliver to the class, sharing interesting information about their family they had discovered and a screen grab from their digital family tree. To cap it all off, I plotted a map showing our entire classroom's ancestral heritage and all continents except Antarctica were represented. I find there is no better way to learn about the world than through the lens of your own individual story. Students were able to connect with family members they hadn't spoken to in ages and to regions of the world they hadn't much considered before. I was very proud of their hard work. Through this project, students developed a variety of the attitudes, skills, and knowledge outlined in the Nat Geo Learning Framework, but there were five that really stood out. The attitudes of curiosity and empowerment, the skills of communication and collaboration, and the knowledge of our human story. By exploring and curating their own family trees, students naturally developed a curiosity about their families and their own roots, then wondered about those of their classmates and ultimately all humanity. In the process of doing the research, many students realized they are the primary curator of their family's genealogy information. This is very empowering as adults will now come to them when looking for info about their families. By listening to the stories of family members, uncles, grandmothers, cousins, and distant relatives, Students needed to communicate clearly the objectives of the project, while also inspiring family members to share. The online family trees we used were collaborative, like Google Docs, where multiple contributors can all work simultaneously. Collaboration on the project was sometimes virtual, but also in person. Finally, this project literally explores where the students come from, their own human story. But it also developed uh, an empathy for the human story of others, and a connectedness to everyone in our classroom, and hopefully the world. Overall, the impact on the students was significant. They discovered their family trees and ancestral origins. They learned about digital collaborative family tree apps and websites and used Google Slides to create and deliver presentations to their classmates, which is never easy. By delivering this project through the lens of a storytelling framework and the Nat Geo Learning Framework, I feel I empowered my students to be better explorers and they were very motivated as a result. Thanks for the guidance, National Geographic, and for providing this certification opportunity.